So what's up you guys, Jeff Benz right here. So I just intended to take you guys through my daily activity today because it's Wednesday. I'm training and going out, having a lot of activity. I just feel today should just explain how my day-to-day -day life should be. I mean, this might just help one person out there as to how the life of a first trader might look like when you start trading. First, you just have to know that number one, it's a boring one. When I mean boring, you, most of the time you have to be alone or by yourself, or by yourself with your screens, with your phones and all of that. So that's just it. Mm -hmm. In case you are wondering how does the life of a Lagos first trader look like, this is just it. I'm just in my bedroom trading and with my laptop. All right, so uh, for some reason, this network is playing with my intelligence. <laughs> I was trying to reconnect it earlier, but it was working for some sec, but now it's back. So I shared the same signal to the whole team and they all enjoyed. This is our Black Friday, which we are running currently. And this is the, the actual Telegram channel. So I sent the signal as about 8.13 before I went live, during live session rather. So I said the price was going to go up and I see updated when it went down. I told them to add new position, even add more position. We are holding, we are still holding the buys and adding positions conservatively fast is on. Okay, and now here's where price were at. We're already making profit. So this is just me showing some gimmicks why people are making money and all of that. So that's it. So a lot of people making crazy money. Same is true with WhatsApp. And I was guiding them through on what to do to on the WhatsApp channel. That's it. So that's the length and breadth. And also on my Instagram is not left out. I keep letting them know what's going on too on my Instagram. That's just how my life has been. No, that's the part of being a mentor too. Okay, because I also train. That's why that part is also in my life. But if you don't train or you're just learning, trying to get your hands on on trading, you're just gonna be very, very, very boring. You're just gonna maybe you have a mentor that you're following online on Telegram or on 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 WhatsApp on Instagram. You have to be subscribed on following them or on YouTube. You have to always be following them and also on your phone keep watching and all of that now what should you be watching out for on your phones first you have to have metatrader 4 on your phone this is the app that i'm talking about so this is the app that you must have on your phone this app right here that is close to this telegram all right so with that app you will launch you have to have a brokerage account have it signed in and then that's where you start placing trades off 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 and uh, today my target is to make 20k dollars and which i've already hit uh since i didn't start the trade from the beginning with you guys i don't want to talk too much about charts i just want to talk about the lifestyle that is surrounding being a forest trader and how the life could actually be and what it truly means to be a forest trader so just basically i'm responding to people in the community because they're asking lots of questions so i just have to follow through and also people on instagram these guys go follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram go follow me on instagram so we are currently at 120k so i follow us this guy needs to follow me on instagram all right Woo. outside here is so hot like no 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 fire must really be so hard, guys repent. <laughs> As of yesterday, this port exactly, this is Osaka, London, and Jack on Day. So, as I yesterday, this place was super, super, duper blocked. And the reason why I'm just saying this is so that people can understand the hassle. The reason why, if you're a forest trader, you know, might likely not want to go out. Just simple thing, because they were not last month. Last month, like, they are Lagos State Traffic Management, is it authority or agency, whatever they are. So, there are people just stay that control traffic. And because these guys were not around, people were no longer respecting the traffic light and we were hooked. At one spot, I think I spent close to about 20 to 25 minutes. So that's one of the disadvantages of me wanting to go out. So if I want to go out, I want to make sure it's an afternoon like this or extremely late at night. And whatever, if, whatever I'm going to do, I have to make sure it's something that is really meaningful and I have to always calculate this thing. So that's one of the reasons why 
I don't really want to go out. Most especially this area is traffic tight area where I'm at because there's going out, a lot of going out and coming in and all of that. So that's another thing. But well, it is what it is. That's why I just have to rush out by one, twelve one, and I should be back say four. I should be by. I should be in my house. And that thing, time that I might likely want to go out is maybe late at night. So that's just now my lifestyle. I consider traffic and I consider my time most in everything before I take action. All right. So although we have passed some of the tick tick traffic zones, now we are currently. This is the last part of it though. There's still traffic at the front. If you can look straight ahead of us. There's still traffic right there. So. I know I'm just complaining in this video, it's a lot of complaints, but that is things that I, I have to, that goes through my head before I want to pick up my key and want to go out. All right, so that's just it. But I love this Benz though. This one, hold, bring, let me show, let me show them. That one that is at the front, I think that's a GLE, yeah, it's a GLE. Not the GLE, not this one. It's the one at the forefront. No, Toyota, leave our front, please. We don't want Prado here. For those who are not in Nigeria, you're probably wondering, how's Nigeria really at right now, 2022, November, and we're about going to December? What, what is it like? Now, let me answer. Nigeria is a fun place to be in. I'm not even going to lie. It's fun based on prices compared to other African countries. Yeah, in Nigeria, is cheap. I've been to Ghana. I've been to Benin Republic. I've been to other... Oh, that's smaller African countries, but I, I can tell you that Nigeria is cheap compared to these guys in terms of gas fee, in terms of fuel, in terms of uh, kerosene, in terms of transportation, and what have you, and foodstuffs. It's cheap, or foodstuff, it is cheap, all right? So, why? Right now, as of the time of making this video, the fuel is around 170 naira or 168 naira, there about. 170, yeah, there about. That's 170 naira. So convert that to dollars. You know that it's never up to anything in dollar. And it's not also up to anything as much. It's not even anything compared to how much they are buying in cities. If you convert it and try to be very accurate. So, and however, the downside is number one, in Nigeria here, we see disorderliness. That's true because you see people wanting to jump queue. One person wanting to have smart order. I'm talking from Lagos perspective. Like, I don't know about other states, but I'm in Lagos. I've been in Lagos, so that's where I'm sharing from. So, you see, person want to act smart, another person in queue is very, very, very. You see, a bigger person wanting to show you that. Like, people in Lagos, they're not just humble people. They are not. They are, if they have money, they want to put it to your face that, like, yes, I'm way richer than you are. <laughs> so, that's how I, I, I see it that way. But, however, if you have your money here in Lagos, Nigeria, you're going to enjoy yourself. Like if you truly have money, can afford what you want, your needs, and even can even afford maybe a little bit more than what you need, you would you have maximum fun, maximum fun in Lagos, Nigeria. Like you can see everywhere there are queues and traffic. These are not necessarily traffic because this is 1 p.m. Almost everyone should be at work, all right. But the reason why there is traffic is because of people trying to jump queue. It's that same thing I just explained at the fuel station. Number one, there's no fuel. And um, maybe the reason why there's no fuel is because they want to be a fuel hike. At that time, I was reading the news. Uh, they said most of these people, they are striking it. And uh, they are going to strike action so that they can protest government's action or stuff like that. And that thing you have to know about Nigerians too. Nigerians, the youths most especially, they are very vocal. They are very outspoken. You can't treat them. You can't travel them I, uh, on them and expect them to keep mute. They will not. They will react. They will, they will protest. It's not like... I've been to other states too. <laughs> they, they will just keep calm, but Nigerians are not like that. They will protest, they will tell you how they feel, and then even want to scatter things for you. <laughs> that's how Nigerians do behave, okay? So that's why you're seeing all this action. Though we are, if uh, an oil producing country, country uh, but trust me, other country, Ghana is also an oil producing country, but they are fuel price is so, so, so way up the roof. And food, price of food here is cheaper than what I have in Ghana. And price of real estate too is relatively cheaper here in Lagos, Nigeria. Because there are some real estate, I check, real estate property I check back in Ghana. I'm like, how much is this? And they tell you, oh, this is about $500,000 or 300000 equivalent, 250000 I'm like, what? what? What's this? Like, the houses are just like my house in the village that no one would even want to stay. That's how the design is. But don't you see, you see these nice architectural buildings here in Lagos, like here, you can see everywhere. 
these buildings can be ranging from like say uh, 80 million naira, 100 million naira. So just in case you are wondering, what okay, 100, 80 million naira should be about 100 thousand dollars. So you can see a very nice house between 100 to 150 thousand naira, or an apartment in a hybro area like where I'm at right now. Where I'm at is this is Lucky Face One, like this is hybro area. Things are known to be crazily expensive, like most especially real estate. They are known to be crazily expensive at this point. But even as at that, even though, even though it's not as expensive as that of or you get value for your money too. You get value, maximum value for your whole damn money. So so this is where we're about to enter, it's lucky face one. And yeah. Oh, why is this thing blowing now? Why is it blowing now? Why is it blowing now? Yeah, so this is lucky face one. So they are currently building, I don't know what they are building, maybe it's an apartment or something, but their price should be like say uh, 200 million so 200 million should, like, should be like 200 thousand dollars or 250 thousand dollars there about but if it's in ghana you're gonna see something way 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 more expensive and it doesn't even make sense it's not you're not even gonna enjoy you're not gonna value you're not gonna get value for your money because it's just like this is a normal place so uh that's just my normal rounds explaining but lagos is a fantastic place to want you want to be at it's a nice place Okay, it's a very nice place. And so this is Admiralty Way, in case you I know you must have been hearing about you, because you can't hear about Lekki without hearing about this place. Because this is a place where the good and bad is. <laughs> when I know the good, when I mean the good and bad, everything is in here. Whatever you're looking for, you find here. Alright? So I'm about to head into the bank right now, so I might just stop filming in no time. Uh, let's see, let's see. So I'm pretty done for today. That's just my my going out that's just a part of the going out uh, i think the other thing i will just be doing is catching up with all the other people online like friends followers and people who just want to make inquiries regarding trading and that's just it so i've made i've gone to make some withdrawals i've gone to make some withdrawals so i made some withdrawals in dollars and also in euros uh, so that's it so i'll just go ahead and or reply instagram messages also follow through with my youtube editing I did some videos and I'll pull up this content for you guys. So that's it. If you have any questions regarding how to tackle some questions regarding uh, day trading and living a normal life in Lagos, Nigeria, whatever you might be around the world, you can just ask me. And if Lagos is a very good place to come to as a forest trader to enjoy your money, yes, I think it is. Because you can actually enjoy your money. The only disadvantage of being a trader in Nigeria is there's no constant electricity. I mean, you can have your own personal train like me. I've got solar and I also I've got a generator that I could also use as an alternative means. So if you're able to take care of that, I'm sure you'll be fine. And another downside is uh, people thinking that you are into fraud because that's something that has come up with some youth. Uh -huh, that's just the only thing. If you can work with that stereotype, if you can deal with that stereotype and deal with the electricity problem here, you'll be fine. You enjoy your money. Things are cheap, affordable relatively because even in all these things people are still complaining that things are expensive but maybe because if they've not traveled to other countries because things are crazily expensive in other countries compared to nigeria all right so that's just my two cents and also there are no a lot of jobs in nigeria according to what the newspapers are saying but some are actually saying that there's a lot of job in lagos it's only lagos i know so lagos is the only developed city that's what the government they do they only develop one and other ones are actually suffering but i think there are a lot of jobs in lagos not in other states maybe that's the word that's why newspaper is bringing out that way so that's just it but it's an amazing thing like i'm really enjoying my life now in my country i don't intend traveling anytime so i'm changing country because i'm enjoying nigeria apart from the security situation in some part not in lagos okay so that's just it so that's my two cents about living in lagos as a day trader and that's it so guys i'll see you guys in the next one, please kindly subscribe, turn on post notification, and share this video with friends and others. Bye for now.